over the past probably decade, there's been a big push to improve the mechanics of the hand, thinking that would improve prostheses. Um, but unfortunately, without sensation, it doesn't matter how good the hand is, you still can't perform at a human level. My name is Igor Spedic. Approximately five and a half years ago, I was injured in an industrial accident, which resulted in the amputation of my hand. Prosthetic limbs have spent a lot of time in development of the mechanics, the electronics, the control systems, all the engineering pieces we can think of. The thing that's been lacking has been the sense of touch, actual feedback, a truly closed loop feedback system. So what we have been able to add here is that feedback. I have to squeeze a little harder, but I can, I can feel it in my index and barely in my thumb because of the way the settings are. If I didn't have sensation, my fingers would just crush it. <laughs> when the hand is lost, the sensors of the hand are gone, but all the wiring that used to connect the nerves are still intact. The thing that's different about what we're doing from prior approaches is that we have electrodes directly on the residual nerve um, that's, in, that's left in the arm. That allows us to connect to the prior systems for feedback that were there before. So we've placed electrodes in Igor's forearm about this level uh, that connect directly onto the peripheral nerves and there's wires that run underneath of his skin and then out the site here that we can connect it to an electrical stimulation system. That signal travels up to his brain and then he feels as though it's his hand. When somebody loses uh, their hand or an appendage, they lose, we often think about just the function that's been lost, but reality is they've also lost all the sensory connection. And that is probably the thing that makes us human in many ways. It's the piece that connects us to the world around us, and it's the piece that connects us to other people. Without the sensation, I normally wouldn't do this. I would do it with my left hand, because I can't feel what I'm holding. I don't know how much pressure that I would use to hold the object firmly. But with the sensation on, I can put it in, and I feel the sensation in my index finger, and I'm holding it enough where it's not pulling the yoke out. Feels great to have my hand back again.